Hey, how's it going everybody? Welcome to Freebeat, where I post new music-related content every single day. So if that sounds good to you, hit that subscribe button, ring that notification bell, let's get started. So it's no secret that I am not very good at synthesizers. I'm not uh, very skilled with sound design, with understanding how synthesizers work and the different methods of synthesis. And, uh, you know, I've got the Korg NT-S1 here, and I always use this guy as effects. But the last time I posted a, a jam, if you will, just using it as a, a synthesizer, I got a ton of dislikes, and uh, I realized that I know nothing about synthesis. So uh, I thought today we would try to remedy that a little bit. Um, I'm not going to get too into the technical things, but I'd like to play with this and try to actually craft some sounds that I enjoy. And uh, so it's going to be kind of a different video. Um, you, there's going to be a lot of mistakes. Again, I don't know what I'm doing here. Um, but I, it's time to rectify uh, this grave gap in my knowledge <laughs> and understanding. So I've got the uh, Arturia key step plugged into the NTS-1 here. And we are going to play around. So right now we are on a saw wave. And that's okay. Let's see here. Of course, we can adjust the shape. And I don't know too much of what this stuff does. Um, but I have been watching some videos. And I know we can adjust uh, stuff like that. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to hold this note down here. Okay, so that adjusts. Okay, I see. <laughs> I understand. Okay, so this basically controls the speed of which it goes up, or the amount of which it goes up. Uh, knob A controls the speed of the pitch. And what does S stand for? Maybe sweep? So let's go into the filter here. Give it some resonance. Maybe? I'm not exactly sure. Let's go ahead and mess with the settings and the filter here. So F, I do believe, is it's not frequency. I know this uh, knob B is up and down, so you can kind of... I think these are for the LFO, so you can control uh, the, the frequency and the the amount of what of your sweep you can hear it kind of scoops into it in the beginning yep that's what it is that's very nice i like that quite a bit what if we just crank this so that makes it very very fast the nts1 keeps falling off the desk i like that and what if we Okay, so then if we switch it here, yeah, it kind of scoops up into it. So let's go back to our oscillator type here. I still don't know what the S does exactly. Got some, it's got some balls to it. That's pretty nice. Let's see. Just trying to see what these sound like across uh, all the other wave types. I like saw uh, the best. It's probably because that's what I'm most familiar with. So let's get into our ADSR. I'm just going to keep it on the standard ADSR here. Sorry if this video isn't what you guys wanted, but I felt like I needed to put this out there and to, to be vulnerable again and be, you know, uh, open to all the dislikes and uh, hopefully I'll get some good advice too. <laughs> so that's our attack. And then if we... Okay, so that's the LFO for like the, uh, the attack, I want to say. That's pretty cool. 
I like that. Oh, oh, that's nice. I like that quite a bit. In fact, I want to kind of put some release, make that last a little longer, and then let's put some reverb on that. Oh, yeah. That's kind of cool. I like that sound quite a bit. <laughs> when it gets really low, that uh, has a cool sound as well. I'm sure there's a name for that. I need to learn all of this stuff. Now, what happens when we change... Uh... Oh, that's the uh, the wetness. Oh, okay. Very cool. All right. See, I know that. I have learned a little bit since the last time we messed with this guy. I want to try to get this just on the edge. Now I don't know if I like the, the filter in there. Let's, uh, let's get a sequence going here on the uh, key step. Something like that. That's pretty neat. Very cool. Let's uh, try to take take this and kind of smooth it out a little bit. I'm not a piano player either, so uh, bear with me here.
very cool. Man, I've been this whole time I've been wanting like a, a synth that I can really mess around with, and it's been right here under my nose. Oh. Okay, now we're getting somewhere. Okay, leave that one off. Too much. bit of a uh, flanger in there. There we go. Even with no reverb, that's uh that feels pretty massive. All right, well, I'm actually pretty happy with that little exploration. Um, if you're thinking about getting one of these, hopefully this video helped you. Um, I've got a couple other videos featuring this guy. If you're on my channel, I'd really recommend watching my videos where I use this as, as an effects box. Um, I have a couple of videos using it as a synth. And like I said in the beginning, I just don't know enough yet for you to base your opinion on this box off my videos. Uh, there's a ton of other amazing videos out there on this thing for the synth. Uh, but yeah, by all means, check mine out, uh, my effects videos out. I use it with the pocket operators. It's an awesome box just for that. Uh, when you add in all the synthesizer capabilities, it just, you know, it's amazing. Amazing value. Uh, great box from Korg, and I can't wait to learn it even more. Uh, guys, thank you so much for being here. If you enjoyed this video, go ahead and leave a like on it. If not, you can leave a dislike. That's okay, too. Doesn't hurt my feelings. Just makes me try that much harder next time. Either way, be sure to hit that subscribe button. Ring the notification bell. Uh, yesterday we set an extended, extended sub goal for the month of June for uh, 860, and we already hit that. In fact, right now I believe we are at 869 subscribers. <laughs> yeah, so uh, let's just say 870. Let's get one more by the end of June. Uh, we can definitely do that. So thanks for being here. Thanks for watching. Uh, we'll see you tomorrow for the July update. Bye.